Hello, I'm Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today let's have a look at this 1978 Ford Mustang 2 King Cobra. White exterior with blue accenting, with a white vinyl interior. As you can tell, manual locks, manual windows, and a manual mirror control. Four speed manual transmission. So we'll go ahead and take the key. And we'll go ahead and fire it up. So we'll go ahead and close the door and check out the rest of the interior. So on the far left of the dash here, you do have light controls over here, as well as your climate control down below. Wipers on the left stock here, with turn signals. Mustang badged steering wheel, three spoke design. Various gauges, tachometer, speedometer. This car is 15,305 miles shown on it. A fuel gauge, alternator, and temperature. You have a lighter down below, and your various radio controls. Presets, tune, volume, balance, as well as your fade. And you can switch from AM to FM. Very simple. Various warning lights up above here. As I mentioned, this car does feature a four-speed manual transmission. So you have first, second, third, fourth, and then push down, over, and up for reverse. Emergency brake over here. Rear view mirror, light up above that. Visor. And let's go and do a light demonstration. So we'll go ahead and shut it off. You have to press the button on the left side of the steering wheel to get the key to turn off all the way. And we'll go ahead and check out the outside. With blue graphics. Let's have a hood scoop. It says 5.0 on the side. Blacked out grill. Partially painted wheels. This one is the fastback. Does have side exit exhaust. 1978 was the final year of the Mustang II, as well as the first and only year of the King Cobra, in which only 4,313 were made. Cobra graphic on the hood. Tires are P205 60 R13s. Louvers over the rear side windows.
The King Cobra's only available engine was the 5.0 liter or 4,942 cubic centimeter V8, which made around 140 horsepower. And we'll go ahead and open up the passenger side. Glove box. And to gain access to the back seat, just pull up here and pull forward. A little bit of space beyond the front seats. For a two plus two configuration. To open the hatch, just take the round key. There you go. There's some nice space back here. With your spare tire underneath. Driving the Mustang 2 King Cobra was fairly interesting. You'd think with it being a heavy car and a very low horsepower V8, it would be super slow and not really fun to drive at all. But even though it had the low power, I believe it had a lot of torque uh, instead. And it wasn't actually that slow whenever I was driving it. Plus with the four speed manual, it really helps out that you can like power shift instead of just waiting for the automatic to shift. It was actually really fun to drive. The transmission in this specific one had a few issues with uh, the gear pattern just to kind of getting stuck. But if you kind of planned out your shifts and made sure you really went the way you're supposed to, it shifted perfectly fine. And the engine sounds amazing too. I'm not gonna lie, I really liked the engine note of this car, especially with the side exhaust. I think that's what really helped it out. So thank you all for watching this video of the 1978 Ford Mustang King Cobra. Be sure to check out Moto Exotica's info in the description below. And I'm out of here. See ya!